Okay, let's talk about playing position off of a hanger. And there's a lot of different things you can do and it really depends on exactly where this ball is situated near the pocket or in the pocket. These are particularly small pockets. So it's actually kind of good because it means we have a lot more rail to work with going up into the pocket. When you have bigger pockets, when the ball's in the middle or deep in there, you can't often use the rail to the side. You have to more draw, draw away from that ball or draw out of the ball or play rail first. So the first situation we'll cover, we'll just say it's like a normal hanger. Okay, so we want to play position off of this. Uh, we're not often going to use top spin and hit the ball full because what happens is the cue ball makes the seven and then it goes to the rail and then the top spin catches because it didn't have time to dissipate so it still has all that spin and then it just comes back to the rail or stays in this location. And that'll happen even if the ball isn't exactly a hanger, if it's somewhere uh, a few inches from the, from the pocket and then the cue ball hits the rail. If you have a lot of top spin, the ball goes back. So you want to be careful of that. So let's get into the, the, this first technique. It's basically angle in, angle out. And what we want to find is our line of position that we're trying to go on off of that first rail. Okay, so we'll say our nine is the next ball. We're gonna, we're gonna play it up in the corner in this case. It might be a better shot to go around, around to you. That's actually a possibility also. If the uh, cue ball was more over here, I might like to play that nine ball on the side because I can just cut the ball thin and the cue ball is going to flow easily off of the ball up into here. Whereas if the cue ball was over here, now I've hit it super, super thin or I've hit it with some right spin to get it back here or go around the table, which isn't bad either. But we're, we're just going to talk first about finding that one, one rail line. You can always extend that around to multiple rails. Okay, so first we're going to pick our destination. Say it's right here. So now I'm going to come over right near where the seven is. So I don't want to come off the rail on that line. So what I want to do now is basically angle in, angle out. Then I know now that's approximately where I want to be off the seven. So when I, when I have this line right here, now I go 90 degrees from this line. Okay, so basically I'm coming over here and looking down this line and I'm looking at a right angle. I'm basically looking at the very edge of that seven and that's where I want to hit with the proper speed. And as long as that ball doesn't roll off, the cue ball doesn't roll off before it gets to the seven, then I'll be okay, which this is a tricky uh, technique because if you have like an unlevel table, it's bad if you have a lot of distance between the balls. But on a lot of tables, this is gonna be good. So if I just hit the seven there, roll the ball, I'm, I'm hitting the edge of it, so it's not gonna have like the top spin effect as if I was hitting it full. Then I have to just control the speed out to here. So I want the edge of the cue ball to hit the seven right there. Basically angle in, angle out. Just try to really be as accurate as I can. Okay. Seems like it's a pretty good line actually. So that's a good illustration. Even though I was trying to come up here, I wasn't trying to get that close. Uh, you saw how good the line was. And that's why we play line of position a lot because if you're a little too long or a little too short, you're still gonna have the right line of position for your next shot, or you're gonna be on the line that you were trying to achieve, which is probably, you know, a lot of times it might be different. It's not the exact same line as the line I was coming in on, but see in this particular case, I'm going towards the ball. We wanna do that as much as possible, go towards the ball, 
and sometimes away from the ball because then you're on the line of position and you have that angle that you're trying to achieve on the next shot or you're straight in on the next shot. So basically, this entire time, I was on a good line to, to make, just at least to make the nine, right? So if I had stopped here, that wouldn't have been bad. But where I am is pretty good. Okay, but right there is where I was trying to get. And I was actually trying to go a tiny bit wider over there. But I think the ball did roll off a little bit. Ball kind of op opened up and that's why I hit it thin and went a little bit longer. So that's why you want to stress to your uh, pool table mechanic or to your pool room owners to keep leveling the tables because they will go out of level. So it's, it's, it's nice to play on the level table because that way you can really have these fine tuned shots that aren't available when the table's not level. But of course, a lot of times it's not going to be level. So you got to learn how to deal with that also. All right. So let's see, let's go, we'll, we'll go to, uh, I want to show you a situation where that's going to be difficult when the ball is buried on this facing over here, unless you're hitting it real thin. But as this ball goes deeper and deeper, then this shot becomes more difficult or not even available because the cue ball wants to hit that point and that throws off your, your line. But when the ball is on this facing, you just gotta be careful to hit exactly where you want. Okay, so again, let's try, try the same angle in, angle out. I wanna hit it right there. I'll put the cue ball a little bit closer so it doesn't roll off as much. Okay, so when I come over here, I'm trying to, I can visualize that line coming out. Imagine my speed. Let's see where I wanna hit it. See how it flows nicely off the edge of that ball? What happens if I, if I try to hit that one fuller? With topspin. See how it catches down there? Uh, sometimes you want to do that on purpose, but it's good to know how the balls react so that you don't do that by accident. Take your pool game to the next level with my online membership course, ProPoolAcademy.com. There's over 33 hours of game knowledge with 16 modules, 140 video lesson sections, and thousands of pool tips with more being added every month. To sign up and to order my books and DVDs in the mail, click the links in the description below this video now.